Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more EU4 on the roads again, playing as the Knights. Venice just got attacked by Hungary, which means now we have to go and fight Hungary. Which I'm not thrilled about. Um, what we probably should do with my troops is send them over to assist Venice by their capital, specifically around Treviso. Given that these are hills, it's very good defensive terrain. I have no interest in getting beat on by Hungary. So here's hoping that does not happen. Um, the Ottomans claimed Constantinople. Oh, well. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Constantinople has been converted, which means I get some loyalty from the clergy as well as some more inquisitors and stuff. That's nice. Come the frick on with the stability nonsense! We're seven years ahead of time on tech. This is ten years. Ten years. I guess I'm just gonna have to lose some missionary strength. Gosh, dang you though, for real? Alright, we're gonna hold off on any more conversions for a bit. Um, I think naval-wise we are completely fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and- ooh. We can actually go run in here and fight Hungary. I don't see Hungary's troops, which means I'm kind of thinking they're coming after me. Venice, you need to fight... You need to end the war with Mantua. You can't fight them. You can't fight Milan and Mantua right now. You have to stop. Um, Where could I do the most damage? Without getting killed by Hungary. Hungary's going to have a fair chunk of troops. Way more than I do, of course. But well, we need to reinforce for a minute anyway. I'm very glad that Austria at least did not get called in on this. That would be very awkward. We're not as far off on getting Castile to like me as I thought. Let's improve relations with them. Let's just see what happens. Uh, Venice is going to get hit pretty hard here. But they got reinforcements I'm not sure Hungary is aware of. So if they're quick, they'll be fine. They are fine. Okay. That means that Hungary just got shattered and is going to be running over here, probably. Which means they may come after me. I do not want them coming down to Constantinople. I've got to be prepared to defend myself. I don't know if the audio picked that up. Some idiot driving through my apartment complex with an absurdly loud motorcycle. It's so annoying when people do that. Just despise it. Anyway, uh, let's grab a couple more infantry. I know it's going to take up some of my cash. I know I don't have a lot of cash to spare, but I think we need it. I want to have as many troops ready to go as possible, just to be safe. And it would be very nice to just bring my troops across and go and fight against, let's say, Croatia and such up over here. Maybe defend Sealy, defend Treviso, something. Venice has made a horrible mistake in not just piecing out. They're not going to get Mantua. It's just not going to happen. Well, I've maxed out relations with Venice. We've done our part, at least. Nexos is up over here. Really? Okay. Um, treason against the Knights. Come the frick on. Thrace. Loads of unrest. For how long? Ten years. Well, we had some uprisings recently. That'll last for four years. Um, I think we can afford to take the unrest. I hate it, though. We're getting really hit pretty hard with that. I'm going to start spying on Hungary on the off chance I can grab a fort. And, yeah, we need to start transporting my troops somewhere. Or we can just go up here, I suppose. We can try. A lot of his troops may be missing, but at least I don't feel quite as isolated. If I know where half of his army is, then we're kind of okay. And at least I'm not fighting in, like, non-defensive territory. If I can siege down a fort, like, that's pretty good. Um, we can try to get a better siege general, though. And let's go ahead and put my air in charge for that reason. Helps quite a bit. Only need six. 
But I'm not looking to give them any excuses. Let's allow enemy uh, allied units to stack up. Byzantium, now's a great time to come up here and help. Okay, Venice is going to uh, hit Sealy. There's the entire Hungarian army. So I know where they are, at least. And they are heading east. Nope, they are heading west. Okay. Buys me time to do useful things. Um, we are going to... Pick off at least a few units. And just go siege other things, I guess. Karaman will give uh, get money from the Ottomans. That's it? The Ottomans went bankrupt. Yes. And they rivaled me. Oh, that's even better. Okay, bankrupt Ottomans, huh? Bankrupt Ottomans, huh? <laughs> that lasts for a while, if I recall. Which, lo and behold, shall mean that you are going to be very much easier for me to stomp on when the time comes. Here comes some of his troops. They're probably going to come over here and try to kill Nixos. Hopefully he's smart and attaches to me. I'm turning off the fort temporarily, but the second I see him coming nearby, we turn this back on. Byzan uh, the Byzantines are on the way, which is good. Making good progress on the fort. Venice will cede a province to Milan. Wow, they really needed to get out of that war, huh? Okay. If you can get to Pest, you can win this, by the way. So now the numbers are pretty solidly in my favor. As long as we don't screw this up, we're going to get a lot of favors with Venice. I'm going to back up a little bit. Safe-ish. Well, we were safe enough here, actually. There's mountains in the way. He can't do anything. Still, I suppose we can sit here just to ensure that no one's able to, um... Cancel the military access on me and get me stuck. Uh, missionary strength guy. Yeah, we're way ahead of time on that, and I think it's time. Missionary strength! Also fort defense, which is sweet. And, guess what? It just became that much easier to convert all these people. Yes! Yes! Venice... Oh, okay, hold up. So Venice ceded a province in Milan to get them out of here, and then took two provinces from Mantua. In a way, I guess you could say that Venice came out ahead on that one. Plus, they got more forts, which just makes it that much harder for Hungary to do anything. Okay. No, um, that wasn't as stupid as I thought. That sort of works. Hi, Seely. How you doing, Dale? Look at you. You look great. I actually thought about doing the uh, Don't Be Seely achievement instead of this. Uh, which, as far as I can tell, the best way to do it is to play a Seely and then pray to God you somehow have an opportunity to kill Croatia in the future. Which, uh, then I realize is, like, that's kind of boring. Like, uh, the, the achievement Don't Be Seely, you have to play a Seely and then form a nation. Any nation at all. Easiest one to form is if Croatia doesn't exist and you own this land, just form Croatia. It's nearby. It's easy. But, you know, a little bit tough still. There's his army here and his army here. So he's got nothing. Uh, the knights gain influential trading or we can get trade efficiency advisor who's cheap. Even if he is cheaper, I'm still not sure I can afford him. So let's just go ahead and take the trade power. And let's build up a galley. And I'll want to build up a couple more trade ships, I think. Transports wouldn't be a bad idea. But I need galleys, because we're going to get a lot of galley combat ability, and I want to beat the snot out of the Ottomans. Who, by the way, now has pretender rebels sieging them down. Because he's bankrupt. He's got three heavies? Yeah. Okay, that I don't like. That I do not like. You get the frick out of here with your three heavies. Your heavies don't belong anywhere over here. Galleys are supposed to be more efficient anyway. Whatever. Come on, get the fort. Nope. He's going up to the north to fight Venice in his capital. Venice should be able to win this, so this looks like a desperation maneuver from uh, Hungary. He's sending reinforcements, but they're not going to get very far. It's not defensive terrain, so I think you've lost, and... Well, I say that. Ooh, okay, no, they're fine. They've lost. So Venice is going to be able to get the fort. So basically... We're golden. We are going to be able to do a lot to help out. Um, let's go ahead and put another general in charge and start working on another fort. I'm going to help out Venice here, then. I now feel pretty darn confident. Now, he's going to get jumped on again. And Venice now feels scared and wants to run. He just sacrificed a lot of opportunities. Alliance breaking with Milan. Ah. All right. It's probably fine. 
Okay, Venice is going to get hit pretty hard here. We did just get a fort. Fighting in the mountains up here is a little scarier. Why are you guys not able to change where you're going? Well, I've got enough troops over here between everyone stacking on me that I think for the moment I'm okay. I'm a little concerned about fighting in mountains, admittedly. Let's, um, let's keep our troops together again. Now that Venice has been hit, it's time to be careful. We'll just siege what we can and give you some war exhaustion or something. How's that? I mean, I've now participated in this war. I got 40% participation, dude. It's pretty nice. Low Crown Land, let's do another mission. What do we got? Have Devotion of 90. Would love it. Barracks. Base manpower in Constantinople. Gain 40 ducats if we can get some base production in Rhodes. I could do this. I don't need the money. But we could do it. Base production? What does Rhodes produce anyway? Fish? Ugh. I mean, getting some base production, it would get me a teeny bit of monthly income, but barely any. I don't feel like it's a good use of, like, 120 Diplo power. Um, the nobility, base manpower, I think we will eventually end up building a barracks. So, let's do this. We just need cash. That's what we need. A lot of cash. Cash monies. Yeah, that's right. Everyone stack on me. I'm the war leader now. Hey, Burgess has been converted. Let's go for Thessaly. We should still have that 20% cost reduction as well, which is very nice. That helps. Spy network is going up. Fort maintenance. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I don't need it at the moment. We're fine. I actually don't even need to be doing... We can just mothball these guys now. I don't... Well, wait. Juice expires in two years. Y you know what? No. Let's, uh, let's not. Let's not do that. I may want to get an Admiral before we fight the Ottomans again, just to give myself better chances of beating them. There's his ten transports, by the way. If I can catch out a chunk of his navy at the beginning of the war... He's dead. He's dead. All right. He's training up more troops. Where's Venice? What are you doing? Venice is getting siege down in Treviso. He's trying to reinforce here, and all of a sudden, eh, no, we're still we're still pretty solidly in control. Um, but I now have a stronger army than Venice. So now I am I am actually doing some of the heavy lifting, a pretty good amount of the heavy lifting. So we're going to lose this alliance with Milan, but if I can pick up the one with Castile... We are shockingly close. Dude, we can get him. We can get Castile. Despite the fact that he has no trust of me? I don't even know why you don't trust me. But I mean... I'll take it. Crimea will give some stuff up to Kazan. They didn't, though. Did I read that wrong? Might have read that wrong. Eh, whatever. Interesting. Okay, so they're doing a thing. So half of their army is here. I don't know where the other half is, but I've got enough reinforcements. He's not going to come after me unless he's an idiot. He's trying to siege down Seely. It's probably fine. I'm going to start working on another fort. Since I know where he is, we might as well make some progress. As long as I have tabs on him, I'm not worried. And we've got siege generals. I can do stuff. There goes the alliance with Milan. Fine. Fine. That's just... Fine with me! You guys ever watch The Swan Princess? This is an older movie at this point. It's a pretty good one, though. It wasn't bad. Uh, Sure. Okay, that'll get me up to my naval force limits. Plenty more light ships for making money between peace and such. Uh, some more galleys. This should be enough to beat a bankrupt Ottomans at uh, sea without having to use my favors with Venice. Possibly. Can't seize crown lands until we are at peace, but then I could get myself up to 30%. I'm not going to gain any lands out of this arrangement. Just, just Let's just be very clear on expectations here. I'm not going to get any land. But that's fine. Mamluks have annexed another person. Mamluks are doing great this game. They really are. I'm, I'm kind of impressed, but this is also sort of what happens every time somebody is successfully able to beat on the Ottomans in the first chunk of the game. Or even just deny them getting Constantinople. I mean, sometimes. If I could get Castile, plus Venice, 
enough favors, I could probably take on the Mamluks and win. There is a way to fight the Mamluks without having to fight all their allies. And that is to attack Cyprus while they are still guaranteed by the Mamluks. The trick is you may have to deal with Genoa as well. So being able to weaken Genoa first would be nice. Okay, now they're heading toward me. Not worried about it though. Seely just left, so that sucks. So that does weaken the alliance a bit. Venice is looking pretty darn good as far as getting this fort. Um, if you can get it real quick, that'd be amazing. I think we got enough troops over here that I'm okay. Who's this? Seely's over here again, right. They were still walking that way. Italian engineer. Um, lose money, gain power. Okay. Eh. I mean, I want power. Power is always good, but I'm also ahead of time. Do I want to take more loans? Not really. I also don't need a Fort Defense Advisor. Forget. I'd never do that, but I mean, I don't, I don't care. Alright, what's going on over here? Are you going to fight me? Because I think you're going to fight me. Hold the phone for a second. Let's get in position to go and fight him over here. Ottomans is not a great power? Excuse me? Oh, it's amazing what happens when you go bankrupt. Ow! It just tickles me pink. Alright, you coming to fight me here? Because I feel like you might be. Nope, he's not going there. Okay, are you going to Constantinople or are you going to the fort? You just, you leave me alone, okay? You get a frick out of here. Okay, we got that fort. Nice. They're working on Pest. I probably want to fight him. Not in the woods, though. Let's sit tight for a second in defensive um, hills. See if we can get this fort and then I'll get my troops together and we'll go crush him. How's uh, Treviso doing? Eh, getting close. Getting scarily close. He's never going to be able to get to the capital, but still. Okay, they just disappeared off the face of the map because of Fog of War. There they are. Okay, so they're fighting in hills. We could jump on this. And if he's not reinforcing it, sure looks to me like Hungary lost all their manpower. So if we fight them, we can do a lot of damage. Sale of titles. No. Stability still good. Hey. No, 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 no. I'm going to go and defend. That's right. You run. You run away. I'm not letting you go and crush that. I want them to get pests. Dang it. We're a good ally. Loan offer from Herzog of... What? Oh. <sighs> Sorry. Um. Herzegovina triggered in my head. Who to Vendigar? I'm like, they're independent? No, they're not. Idiot. Don't be stupid, stupid. Alright. 49% chance and we can run down here and we can kill him. I'm gonna go to the farmlands and start boxing him in so he gets super scared. Gosh dang it, with the 49% still failing. Great Horde has rivaled Genoa. Yeah, they've been kind of beat down a lot by Muscovy. Muscovy's looking pretty good. Only they were good Catholics. Only if only. Alright, Pest is down. I'm gonna get you guys another freaking fort. I got 58% participation. I'm gonna get all the monies. Watch him take war reps and no cash or something. Alright, we got more. Guess who's coming to kill the Hungarians? Nothing personal, Hungary. If you hadn't rivaled Venice, I would have happily allied you. I really would have. Oh! Ah, oh, he got into defensive terrain. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, don't need to spy on you anymore. You don't matter. We're about to crush you. Crush, 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 crush. Crush, thank you. Alright, well, let's just go run around and siege some more things. Um, this is your opportunity, Venice, to just, like, end the war, by the way. 71%. I got 60% war participation. I think I can walk away at this point, to be honest. I'm heading home. Screw you guys. I'm a going home. Orthodox zealots, Venice? No! Don't let them convert to, to Orthodox. You're supposed to be a good Catholic man. Autonomy in Thessaly. I don't know if that helps me at all. It's at zero already. Let's just gain some devotion. Yeah. Okay. Solid, solid, solid. Um, question, Castile. Ally! 
Way better than Milan. Okay, Castile plus Aragon. They're allied to England and Portugal. What the dynamic powerhouse Castile is going to be. Hopefully they don't call me in against France or anything stupid, but it could happen. Tunis is getting beaten the snot out of right now. Tempting as it is to go and kill them, though, um, we have only a couple more months before I need to go fight the Ottomans. So, yeah, we're not doing that. Um, I would love... Oh, wait. Uh, I guess it's okay to leave you here for now. Where's my navy? I'm not supposed to can raid you guys yet. Yes, actually, we can. We should go do some raiding real quick. But we need to go and beat the snot out of the Ottomans. It's time. Time for yet another glorious combat. Ta -ta -ta. Get up here to Burgess. We're going to knock his uh, navy out here. And it's a little scary in that they've got two heavies and three galleys. But I'm going to get myself an admiral. Not a great admiral, but an admiral helps. Let's get all of my ships together. Because uh, I want to sink this ASAP. If I can get rid of his two heavies or even capture them... Uh, then we will have zero issues, I think, maintaining our naval dominance. Which I have heard is pretty good. 53 more ducats up over there. That's great. Workshops, yes. 0.21 ducats per month. Unbelievably good. 17. Okay, I'll take it. Troops are in position. Uh, we need to get out of his territory, unfortunately. Can't quite... Annex you while we are at war, unfortunately. So, um, just so you know, Venice, like, I'm not, I'm not really here to help you anymore. Yan Yon. Um, I will hand over the forts to you, though, if it helps. I don't expect to be given anything. I can't core any of it anyway. So I'm just gonna give you full control, so to make sure you understand, you've got the freaking war score. I'm not separate piecing out either. That wouldn't make any sense to me. Alright, so we're going to run in here. Dis uh, siege this down. Juice expired. Good. And force these guys out. Where's the rest of his navy? There's a few down there. One heavy here, way far away. But I think it's fine. I need to get this fleet in position first. We can humiliate the Ottomans. I would love nothing better. And you still have pretender rebels that are messing you up. So, just to be aware, you're screwed. Um, okay, we have a claim we're going to use somewhere. Which one should we go for? How about Philippi? That's not a claim? Oh, never mind. Uh, how about Siraz? You've got some allies, but none of them matter. And you're not nearly as strong as you used to be. Not nearly as strong. Bankrupted, too? I mean, you should be a total pushover. Alright. Now, the real trick... ...would be... ...to find a way... ...to get over here and actually siege a fort down... ...so that we can demand something in Anatolia. That would be the real trick. Odds are pretty good he's gonna turn around and try to kill me. Let's get the navies in position. Where's he going? Is he coming to intercept me? He is. Hold the phone. Much as I wanted to go and kill these guys, let's actually hold up. Let's go intercept these guys before they can go anywhere. That's a larger... That's a, it's mostly transports, but I need to get rid of them. Shadow them before they get together. He's coming after me right now. Or he's stuck because he's dumb. Are you going to fight me here? Nope, you're going to get absolutely wrecked. Bye! Thank you for the free galley. Let's go for another one over here. He came out for me, so perfect. He's run... Nope, 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 nope. I'm coming to kill you. Don't run from me, I am your friend. Byzantium pinned him down! Look at him go. I'm so proud. Alright, capturing another galley. I think he's coming after me now, right? Almost certainly coming after me now. Much as I want the fort, I think we should just not. Whoa. No, no, no. Okay, he's going after the pretenders, actually. 
But he will be coming after me, so it's not worth staying. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take anything in Anatolia, I think. Now's a great opportunity to do it, but it's not going to happen. Autonomy again, doesn't make any sense. Let's go for the Devotion. We should probably spy on you or something. We're going to be able to win this without having called in any allies, again, which means I can save a lot of favors. Venice, still not willing to just end the war here with Hungary. You realize that you're going to lose a load of war score, right? You realize these things? I just want to make sure that it's understood. Alright. Let's, um... Siege down a bunch of stuff, including the war goal. Starting that ticking war score immediately. Or maybe not immediately, but ASAP. I'm a little concerned we could technically get jumped on by Hungary. He could come into my territory and fight me. Or fight in the Ottomans' territory. That would be a problem, especially since I know he just got pest back. Venice, you're being an idiot. I'm not trying to be too harsh to you, but just understand, you're being an idiot. You had everything you needed just to walk away and end the war. Instead, you're going to risk losing more forts and you lost the capital. That's what we call not smart. I need to keep my troops relatively close together. Much as I want to go and mass raid, we can't. Um, now that we destroyed a lot of his ships, we can split split some of them up. I can go ahead and get some repairs real quick since this galley is on the verge of death. One that we captured, I assume. Pay a debt? Sure, why not? Let's uh, go ahead and start blockading him. Get a little bit of extra war score going that away. This should upset him quite a bit. I see that you've got more ships here. Ramazan has a shocking number, actually. But I think we're able to reinforce pretty easily. I can turn off the fort in Constantinople, right? Seems risky, but the answer is yes, we can. As long as we control this. Now, if I see him trying to land something, we're in trouble. We control all the water, though. He can't land anything. He is, however, trying to go for a naval combat. No, who is? Somebody is. Who's going for... Who's fighting? Am I crazy? They're going to go kill the Byzantines. Oh, well, I guess we can go help them. And if I could sink down, like, say, one of your heavies and stuff, that'd be fine, too. Heavies are expensive, dude. Battle of the Ionian Sea. Let's go fight him here. He has no reinforcements. Should be easy. He came out over here, but that's probably fine. I don't think he'll challenge my six ships here. There goes your heavy and galley. Holy crap. They got absolutely toasted, dude. Crimea declared war on Circassia. Not a big deal. He ran away like the coward he is. He's about to have to pop out one of his light ships. Let's go and intercept. In just a moment. We can get another idea. Papal influence, tolerance of the true faith, devotion. Four years ahead of time on tech. Would love to get the idea group. 1478. Need how much more power? 793 is what's required. Now well, it's going to go down a lot. I'm generating 11 per month. Uh, it's going to be four more years. So let's say 11 times 12 times 4. I will have 528. We have we will have probably enough power by then. We can afford to get this. Devoutness. Devotion, papal influence, tolerance. Of the true faith. We're still extremely intolerant of heretics. But I mean, I'm, good, I'm, I'm very tolerant of people I already agree with. That counts for something, right? Buy a light ship. Sucker. Um, I would love nothing better than to run over here and grab things like Sugla. I really would. Venice, what are you doing now? Oh my gosh, you lost another fort. You're so stupid! 
I won this war for you, FYI. I won the war for you. Oh, good. And now Orthodox and Albanians are killing each other. <clears throat> you know, in a way, that almost makes sense. If you know anything about the history of some of that region. Uh, you got a few ships sitting here, and they're all transports. Kill them! Everything. Out to the Aegean Sea. Kill them! Except for, like, one transport, which I actually... He, he could try to cross. He won't, because that'd be stupid. Oh, yes, he will. Can we cross fast? Block him? Yes, we can block him. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Got cocky. I thought I was about to be punished real freaking bad right there. Um, yes, no. Got cocky, but we're still fine. I still see the entire Hungarian army, so I'm not worried about them. I just don't understand what the heck Venice thinks they're doing. Uh, prestige is still probably better, but I'm gonna go for the Papal Influence. It'll lead to more, like, stability and stuff in a bit, right? There's a Dern. All right. So now we're sitting at 16% war score against... Um, the Ottomans, which is not outstanding. Can we get a little bit more over here, please? That's only one cavalry leading this. I didn't even realize we had so few people here. Okay. Let's go ahead and top off some relations with um, Byzantium, because very soon we should be able to annex them. We do need to be ending up this video because we are out of time. Alas and alack. I'm going to leave behind um, the light ships. The rest of you are going to go kill these two real quick. He's probably going to run away. Let's go ahead and turn off the fort again, by the way. Why pay for it? No, we didn't run away. We weren't able to seize them, unfortunately. Send some of you here, some of you here, some of you here. Let's go ahead and build up some war exhaustion with blockades. You still have a couple of ships sitting out over there that I probably should go ahead and get. And this should be full occupation, once again, of the Ottoman Balkan region. Now, the thing is, I know he's bankrupt. So my question is, even though you have a lot of numbers, could we still possibly beat you in a land combat? The answer is almost certainly no, because he has allies helping him. If he didn't have allies helping him, I think we could. All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and stop, end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and if so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and do it.